Campi Flegre volcano in southern Italy is becoming weaker and more prone to rupturing, making an eruption more likely, according to a new study conducted by researchers at UCL, University College London, and Italy's National Research Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV. The volcano, which last erupted in 1538, has been in turmoil for more than 70 years, with two-year spikes in unrest in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s, and a slower phase of unrest in the past decade. Tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred during this period and the coastal town of Pozzuoli has been lifted by almost 4 meters, 13 feet, about the height of a double-decker bus. The new study, published in Nature's Communications Earth and Environment Journal, uses a volcanic rift model, developed at UCL, to interpret patterns of earthquakes and ground uplift, and concludes that parts of the volcano have been stretched to nearly their breaking point. We first used this model in 2017 and since then Campi Flegre has behaved as we predicted, with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below. We now have to adjust our procedures to estimate the possibility of opening new routes for magma or gas to flow. Reach the surface. This study is the first to predict active volcanic eruptions. This marks a change in our goal to improve volcanic eruption forecasts worldwide. Dr. Nicola Alessandro Pino from the Vesuvius Observatory, who represents INGV in Naples, said, Our results show that parts of the volcano have become weaker. This means that the mountain may break apart even though the pressure pulling it apart is less than before. The last crisis was 40 years ago. Campi Flegre is the closest active volcano to London. It is not an obvious volcano because, instead of growing into a traditional mountain, it takes the form of a 12 to 14 kilometers long gently sloping depression and is therefore known as a caldera. This explains why 360,000 people now live on its roof. Over the past decade, the ground level beneath Pozzuoli has risen by about 10 centimeters per year. Continuous small earthquakes were also recorded for the first time since the mid-1980s. More than 600 cases were recorded in April, the largest monthly number so far. This disturbance is caused by the movement of fluid about 3 kilometers below the surface. Some of the fluid may be molten rock, or magma, and some may be natural volcanic gas. The final phase of the unrest appears to have been caused by magmatic gas seeping into cracks in the rock, filling the 3 kilometers thick crust like a sponge. Earthquakes occur when faults slip due to stretching of the Earth's crust. Earthquake patterns in 2020 show that the rock is responding in an inelastic way, namely breaking, not bending. Dr. Stefania Danese from INGV Bologna said, We cannot see what is happening underground. Instead, we have to decipher the clues provided by volcanoes, such as earthquakes and uplift. In their paper, the team explains that the impact of unrest since the 1950s has been cumulative, meaning an eventual eruption could have been preceded by relatively weak signals such as smaller rates of ground uplift and fewer earthquakes. Something similar happened to the eruption of the Rabaul caldera in Papua New Guinea in 1994, 
which was preceded by a small earthquake with a speed one-tenth that of the crisis a decade earlier. Campy Flegre Tensile Strength Today the maximum pressure a material can withstand before breaking when stretched is likely about one-third of its tensile strength in 1984, the researchers said. The team emphasized that an eruption cannot be avoided. Dr. Stefano Carlino from the Vesuvius Observatory explained, similar things happen to all volcanoes that have been quiet for generations. Campi Flegre will probably adapt to a new routine of slowly rising and falling, as seen at similar volcanoes around the world, or just go back to the volcano. Rest. We can't say for sure yet what will happen. The important thing is to be prepared for all outcomes.